on any other show, when the bachelorette comes out to grab one of the guys and then one of the other guys says, what's that about? And then the response is, I don't know, but I think it's good. That was from Keith. That would translate to he's going home. That's not how these guys think. No, no, no. They were excited for Mark because they thought this was going to be a good conversation. These guys are here to bro out and extend this retirement paradise for as long as they can. That's why I love the show. That is what makes this particular part of the franchise stand out from all the other shows. When Pascal said, I can't believe my best friend is going home. Uh, Yes. Like, what more do you want? This is why I keep saying that it's the best show on TV right now. And I watch all of this garbage and I can tell you, it is a feel good show. I'm done with people shitting on each other. I don't need... To see that all the time. Sure, every once in a while, I show me some grown women in a restaurant yelling at each other. Great. That's that's also good for the soul. Yeah. But I really am enjoying the friendships, the bonding, the healing, the male tears coming from like lessons learned and lives lived. Yeah. I'm I'm here and I'm queer for all yeah. of it. I just want to say I feel like I really my theory was on to something theory on i said either their chemistry is so good they're just like and as soon as they get together they're gonna just like it's gonna be obvious that he's the one and so that's why they're drawing it out or their chemistry is not there but they want him to be they're prepping him to be the next golden bachelor and everyone's so invested in him that they're going to draw it out because they want him to get screen time and yeah. I feel like that's what they did. <laughs> well, I think that the they latter blew it then because he's a total snooze fest. He had nothing to say, no charisma, soft spoken. You know, you're talking to the president of the Mark fan club. I never realized what a dud he was until this episode. Well, see, so I, I think really they're think... totally second guessing their choice. Sir. Oh, I think he could be a great golden bachelor. If that's your golden bachelor, you don't you don't send him off with a he's not ready. You send him off saying all the things that you're supposed to say when you're going to be the golden bachelor. Like Jonathan's last sentence that you hear in the car is, I think my chapter's just beginning or oh, something I like that. Jo- I'd be here. For, I would be so here I for think Jonathan they as are, the next golden bachelor. I think that they are way more entertaining okay. him now as golden bachelor, but I am still weary of Jonathan. There is something about him. Like you're hiding something. I have no idea what it is. I'm sure all it would take is a quick phone call to the ex-wife. But like, I think that they are treading lightly around him because like they're like, because there's just been so many snafus with like so many guys now having like these, which I have a whole other rant about, about like, you got to do better on digging into these guys. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do a background check. That's like a little bit more thorough. When I used to do estate management and I used to have to hire, you know, nannies and housekeepers and security guards i would have known if you had a parking ticket that was unpaid let alone a uh restraining order well speaking of background checks this is why i don't understand and i get that she didn't know guy had the restraining order but honestly if uh against him but honestly if i was looking at like who personally courtney would like to get to know better i'd rather take a slow burner like mark than guy because i didn't think they had any chemistry i'm not saying that her and mark together were fire and they should be you know screwing till his dick falls off i'm just saying i don't think her and guy have any real chemistry so it's weird to me that he is going to hometowns and someone like a jonathan is not because i I think there might be something that she doesn't trust about it why else would you send that guy home when like i have nothing to go off of it's just a vibe whether it's her lifelong you know rest of her life back nine partner i do think there is a guy in the mix of everyone that's there that she could have a decent run of a relationship with it's probably chalk at this point if we're betting I think that her and Pascal do have like a nice spicy little thing when he was steaming his shirt in the beginning of the episode and his tidy whities I died. His great bod at 69 years old. Yeah. I know you don't like Mark, but I loved the moment he had with the hummingbird and how he was talking to Jordan (laughs) and Pascal about it. I just thought that was really, really sweet. And then when he went home and Pascal was crying and he goes, that was my best friend. That's the most interesting part about Mark is that Pascal actually would be best friends with this guy. But that tells you something about Mark. It doesn't seem like they set him up very well to take the cake. His fatal flaw for this show 
was when, and I didn't take him as this dude completely, but he is super soft-spoken, so it does match. When they were on the scavenger hunt, and one of the questions was, uh, in a relationship, how would you feel more comfortable with someone saying, I love you? Do you want to say I love you first, or do you want to hear it from your partner first? They both said, oh, I want to hear the other person say it first. Yeah. And it's like, no, 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 no. You're not the bachelor. You've got to tell her first because yeah. all these other guys are going to be you know, professing their undying love to her. So I knew that he was dead in the water at that point. But it is what made me think like, oh, you actually could be a good bachelor because the job as the hero person on these shows is to withhold saying that until, you know, you're the person says it to you. Yeah. And so that would be great for Mark. We can move off of Mark. It's fine. I was just disappointed by like I just had thought that he was something else, and I I don't know what happened in the in this journey. Did you not think like, he was so cute? Like I have in my notes when he was just like, first of all, the hummingbird thing really got me when the guys were talking, and he was so open with his emotions because you know that really gets me how open they all no, are with their emotions. I know. But then afterwards, when he's like, I'm going on this one on one on one with her, like I'm manifesting this, and he was just so sweet about all of it, and I just I feel like Mark. He's a grower, not a shower, emotionally. Yeah. Not physically, I think. Mark is probably the opposite. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Kelsey, I know it's your dad. But anyway, um, but point being is that I do think that he's just a slow burn of a dude. And I, I just am not throwing the baby out with the bathwater on him. Yeah. Um, Pascal's really turning out to be something. And you could have written him off in the beginning. Pascal... I have no hope for him to to be the guy, but I think it would be the best thing that she ever did for herself is to spend a year with Pascal. <laughs> she came up on TikTok the other day. She cooked the same meal that she cooked for a guy. Yeah. It was like a five minute thing of her making this recipe. You know who would be great for content creation? Pascal. Pascal. Everything would be like visually stunning, pleasing. Yeah. Like there's so many times that Mike will like send me a photo of the cat that's so cute, but there's like nine pairs of old shoes in the background and like a thing of laundry and yesterday's DoorDash that hasn't made it to the trash chute <laughs> yet. Like that would never happen at Pascal's house. I loved what he did say. He was like, I, I really want to go to hometowns because I wanted to bring her to, to my family, bring her to my business. And I'm like, yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah, you do. You've been dying to get your hands in that weave. Uh-huh. I have more feelings, though, about Chop. You really don't like him. No. I know. I get it. Being someone who, like, loves to be loved and, like, I've always told it. I, I have no qualms with saying that, like, I am super into guys that are super into me. <laughs> like that's like your best quality. If like you're gunning for me hardcore, I'm like, you get it. And that's sexy that like <laughs> you are smart that way. I yeah. feel like right now she's got production to like put this pup back in his cage at night. But like once old yeller's free without handlers, like he's going to be humping her leg. Like she's going to be like personal space. I don't think he's ever like you give him Joan's phone number. He, she's going to be texting her all day. Like he... He seems like a little much. I don't know. I can't get a read yet. I need to see him. I, I, I think the house is a really hard environment to be in. I think it is going to be interesting when we see him away from the house and like away from the other guys. Yeah. I'm not disagreeing. I'm just, I'm saying the jury's out yet. I haven't made my decision yet. You know what the biggest thing that bothered me with Chalk is, is that on their date, he missed a, like a giant patch from shaving. And I don't know why it, irritated the ever-loving yeah. daylights out of me that's dork city okay well you know what we don't have to berate people here natalie this is a family show hey, hey, Mimi. i'm glad that there is somebody that is like making the beeline for joan Same. so like there is definitely like positives to him doing those things but like the way he was like all hugged up with her in the bowling, bowling on the group date, all the guys were like totally put off by that. They haven't been put off by anything yeah. all season. So the fact that they're just like, come on, dude. Like I they literally like, say like, hey, just give them their, their time. Like that they have to actually tell him simmer and settle just for yeah. five seconds. Like here, play with this dongle, <laughs> whatever, you know, like uh, Fifth. what? Fifth. Oh. You know, I'm not mad at Chalk. I'm mad at Joan for letting it get this far. And they not. have chemistry. I don't know if they really they have do. chemistry. They like making out. I'm telling you. Okay. We do have this one girl that did a big long comment about 
Chalk and Chalk's the guy and she's rooting for Chalk. And I just want to say that I s- am so glad that you left that comment. Please keep leaving comments. It was a <laughs> great comment. It was one of the, not even one of, literally the best comment we've ever had. Like so organized. and Yeah. Yeah. See? Totally organized. And maybe she yeah. has a point. No, I, I, that's totally. I wish that I was not as turned off by Chalk as I am. That's on me. It, it is. And I'm glad you this took responsibility for it. This is not her problem. It. And that is it. And that is all. But, 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 don't you remember on her date with Mark, she basically said, like, I need to be pursued. Yeah. I need the person to say, I love you first. That's chalk. So maybe that is the lid for her pop because he is the one beelining to her. He will trust next week. He's going to say, I love you or I'm falling in love with you. It'll be between Guy and Chalk. I will be shocked if, 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 if guy makes it to the final two. Like, I think you might have missed something with them. Like, the, like you didn't believe that he was even going to hometowns. And he, here he is. And oh, now, yeah, so yeah, you've, yeah, got yeah, him, yeah. you've got him running against Jordan. He's like a seat filler. Like, I think she needed a fourth. And she's like, where's he from? Chicago? I've never been. Let's go to <laughs> Chicago. I like Jordan, but they just don't seem to me like they've used their time to really find a connection uh, yeah, and like I don't it's see just the too late now yeah, like yeah. like I yeah. just I don't think they're going to be able to find it but guy is a doctor and he's good looking have you seen him with no shirt he's the hottest like bod guy out of all of them even John I don't know why I am really turned off by guy more than chalk <sighs> that's a tough one guy's more handsome than chalk Demeanor you know what it was better. for me with guy and I did this last week and I'll, I'll stand by it for some reason when they went to kiss he lost me at the the dead I mean, fish all mouth. those old folks making out with tongue. I'm totally fine when I see her and Chalk kiss. I'm fine when I saw her and Pascal kiss. Her and Mark Pascal's kiss. Pascal's different. He's foreign. Mm, well, he is French. That's he can f- French kiss. That's, that's foreign. He actually did a kiss her and he goes, that's a French kiss. I know. I, God, I love him. J'adore Pascal. God, she should pick him. What a great life. I totally think he would be a great choice for her. Yeah. Because it's so different than her previous life. Yeah, he would spice it up. But she still works. So I'm just curious how that would work. Because he's got his salon. You know what? She's only been widowed for three, three years. years. Which means she went on the Golden two Bachelor years. Yeah. two years later. I get that. If you're single for two years. I don't know. I like. I, I was just surprised by that. Like, it's, it's probably okay that you're feeling like you might not be ready. Well, because that's... That's the thing, too, like, yeah. especially her saying all that, like, oh, I don't know if I'm ready. She's having a lot of I'm not sure if I'm ready yeah. issues. And I'm here to tell you, Joan, you're not. <laughs> I think the fastest way over someone is under someone. Else. True, but I don't. Fine, then go get laid. <laughs> don't that, don't go get married. Thing. I think it's going to be a lot harder for people that are older. I said this before to make any concessions. It's going to take a really special, special person for someone like Joan to make any kind of commitment where she's dividing time and, you know, not doing her regular morning routine and and whatever. And I just, I don't see that happening on, I don't see her guy here. Maybe Gary was right. Maybe Gary was right. Do you think your guy, which in the moment I'm like, Gary, you're sleaze. You just want her to be like, I don't him to be like, I was hoping you'd say that. I'm here now. They got him out of there right quick. I feel like they knew. They're like, okay, he's getting a little handsy. With yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone <laughs> pulled. Where's the Gary handler? Get your hands hands off the merchandise. <laughs> well, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so your predictions for the final two are? How about this? I don't know. I'm going to say who I hope it's going to be. I hope it's Pascal and Chalk because I do think that they have a really good connection. I hope it's Pascal and Guy. It won't be. Chalk will be there. See, I think Pascal's good looking. For some reason, Guy, I don't think Guy's not good looking. He's no, I just like, no, that hair thing like that you pointed bed. out was, was weird. Yeah, yeah, totally. He's a little purple. Yeah. Like, like Jersey. I'm just very and I can physically. Say this I'm and I feel so Jersey. horrible because I don't mean to keep fucking talking shit about this guy. Like, he's, he's perfectly nice. I just like, Chalk's a dork. That's just a big dork. And like, you're, you could do so much better. And it, I mean, you've, you've got a doctor and a Frenchie to choose from so it's just chalk and just go yeah but did you see the kiss with guy did you see the no but i haven't liked any of the any of the kisses they've all looked weird to me not one person that she's kissed have i been like oh that like maybe jonathan but even with jonathan i thought she looked too old for him i thought that 
Not that she looked too old for him as if that was her problem. It would become her problem, though, because he seems to me like a guy that goes home and he will date 40-year-olds. That's who I think Jonathan is. And so when I saw that, it wasn't that I thought she looked older. I thought this isn't one of these things sustainable for her. He's going to probably cheat on her or leave her or, you know, I, I don't know why did his wife leave him why did his wife get up one day out of nowhere and say i'm not happy women stick around for you heard marissa when she was telling ramses i would stay in a relationship for five to seven years yes. unhappy and he was like that's insane and like maybe it is actually insane but like that's uh, that's a woman thing like they, yeah. they do that shit all the time yeah so women don't get up one day, and unless they have a whirlwind affair and fall head over heels in love with someone. And then they're like, I haven't had this with you in however long. And, and I, this is the life I want for myself. Like, unless it was that, which like women are mostly don't roll that, uh, that wouldn't be the majority. You know, that would be a, that'd be a a one-off. Yeah. That would be a (laughs) one-off. This could end up being one of the great mysteries of the world. We may never know. We probably will because someone will find out (laughs) and someone will speak up. Yeah. I haven't even done any sleuthing on it. So like, it could already be out there, just waiting for a little tappity tap. Yeah. Yeah. One click away from knowing it all. Am I the last person to know about Meryl Streep and Martin Short? Are they an item? No, they're friends and they went to dinner. It's, I, she's married. They live separate lives. They are married. They don't live together. What? Yeah. Then no, you're not the last person to know about this. Hi, I'm Courtney Aviati. <laughs> I'm the last person to know about this. What are you talking about? Uh, listen, I don't. Her and Mr. Gummer haven't been pre- even seen together since like 2018 okay, or 19. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. No, they but I mean, quiet I lives, th- right? Uh, like, unless, like, listen, is I don't- it on her Wikipedia page? I'm just kidding. Meryl Streep. How did you, Natalie, find out? That's the question. When you stumble upon these things at 3:30 in the morning. <laughs> 